If you've ever wanted to complain to customer service about customer service, you're not alone. More Americans are fed up with long hold times and how hard it is to speak to a real person. CBS's Nancy Chen takes a look at what's fueling the frustration and what can be done about it. By the time that you get to a representative, if you get to a representative, then you're angry. <laughs> Have you ever yelled at someone for customer service? I think I'm guilty of that, yeah. 74% <laughs> of Americans report having a problem with a product or service in the past year, according to the latest National Customer Rage Survey. It's more than doubled since 1976. The number one frustration, having to sit through long prompts just to talk to a human being. People are having difficulty having what I would describe as an authentic interaction. Scott Bretzman spearheaded the survey. Uh, he blames much of the problem on companies and products relying more on automation and technology. And customer patience, he says, is growing thinner. 8% of people said that um, one of the primary causes for the increase in uncivility was related to the uh, stress and strife of, associated with COVID. 43% of customers reported yelling or raising their voice, and roughly one in 10 are interested in seeking revenge on employees. But the reservation keeps the car here. That's why you have the reservations. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. Social media is also providing a megaphone. The number of people posting complaints and shaming companies online has more than doubled since 2020. So what can people do? I think uh, a customer care experience from both sides, from the employee side and from the customer side, would benefit greatly from a good dose of, of kindness. A reminder that courtesy counts, even when you complain. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.